Okay, people, we continue Fire Pro Wrestling well where we left off in Champions Road Beyond. Hopefully, there's no audio issues this episode as I've reset the filters on my mic, reset the mic and everything. So, hopefully, it will all be clean and crisp and we can next episode just move on like nothing happened. Anyway, let's get right into it then. You've grown, kid. And I don't mean just physically. Your heart's grown two-sided since we last met. But you still got a ways to go. Billy herself is going to take you to school. Don't forget my patented secret to strength. The Brock Lesnar diet. Eat meat, drink wine, repeat. Chow down on a nice fat steak. The redder, the better. When you see Texas on the map. You want, I want you to start salivating, salivating for a juicy ribeye. Billy, stop before you make me hungry. I've come for that title. And here we go, Billy the South versus Blade. One on one action. Here we go, immediately starting with Fireman Carry into a power slam, or more scoop slam anyway. And now test of strength, he's completely outclassed in Billy because I'm not going to let the AI get anything going because I know how the AI works in this game. And if you allow him to get going with anything, they will definitely exploit it. Oh, I could have connected for once. Really, another test of strength? Like, wow, there's a lot of them going today. I was hoping to be able to get in with that. Excuse me, my friend. Put that chair down. Of course, he stays down a second longer than I thought he would. Never mind, Pile Driver on the outside. Break his neck. I said break his neck. It's a murder. It's a murder. And here we go. Missile drop kick. Into a moonstone. Not going for a pin yet. I want to make this match last a bit. Oh, I thought I was going to get him there. Spikey boy. Oh, he countered. He actually got something going there. And there we go. Space rolling elbow. And now trade war incoming. One, two, three, four, five, six. Only six shots combined, but of course he wins. I never win those things. Oh, he, he stayed in place, and so my bot drop kick didn't mean anything. Nice. And here we go, back flip kick now. Up top waiting for him. And of course I go for the knee, like some reason... Uh, I forget. Gotta remember that like certain moves are certain moves and they're gonna be weird. Moves out to the back. Zoe blocks the ankle lock. Guess I'll just have to go to back break of city then. Beautiful combination. And now here we go. Figure four leg lock. Taking him to Kenji Muta. With the dragon screw leg whip. Into a figure four. And here's another leg whip. Really we are the straight up Kenji Muta. I keep saying this but it's because our moveset is practically his moveset. Like space rolling elbow. Backbreaker. Moonsault. Dragon screw leg whip. Figure four. The flash elbow. Now like, yeah, you strap Kenji Muta's moves there. Yeah, it was very predictable that being right break. Why can't I get up? Why am I suddenly dead? I'm not sure how that rollout works, but okay. I'll take it.
And there we go, another stun into a missile drop kick. I don't think that connected correctly, but it looked decent enough. One day that'll work. One day. Like, it's because these, these hitboxes look really awkward. Like, they look incredibly awkward and don't look like they should be working the way they do. Oh, shiny wizard! Good night! But yeah, a lot of these hitboxes just look very bizarre. They look very, very bizarre. I forget how strong the Japanese are. I should have learnt my lesson back then. You faced a Japanese wrestler before? Oh, it's the guy from earlier. He went and become a top pro wrestler in Japan. At the time, he was fresh out of the indie scene and still rough around the edges. I toughened him up with some stakes. As a reward, I booked him in a title match against me. I'm not sure how that works, but okay. And well, you know, the kid knocked me out cold with a barrage of tombstone pile drivers. He became our first Japanese champ. So that means I'm the second. Yep, man, Grow knew how to work a match. But Samba, don't compare yourself to him. you got to stay true to yourself. Billy, thank you so much for everything. When you reach Japan, tear into him like a juicy steak. Like you, wait, tearing him to like you're a juicy steak? What? I'm trying to wrap that, did that just say tear into him like you're a juicy steak? What? That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. A fight to decide a champion among champions. If it's against Samri, I know it'll be an epic match. Well, you better catch a flight, kiddo. Remember, you always got home in Texas. Billy. Texas has the best steaks. You can't argue that. Sure, sure. But those hamburgers the day we met, those were killer. Fair enough, I wonder how they cook them in New York. I'll let you know once I'm champion there. Speaking of, looks like I lost our bet. You got a belt before me. How about this? The one who takes the championship gets to propose to Alice. Spoken like a true gentleman. I'll drink to that. Cheers to you and a new life in the Big Apple. You jet to Japan, I jet to New York. We'll cross paths again. You know, by a common dream, the two took to the sky, like a mythic beast in flight, like mythic beasts in flight. 